What's up guys and welcome back to Fortnite Battle Royale. Today I've got what I hope is going to be a very very useful video for you guys and we are going to be going over basically all the different kind of like combinations and edits you can make when you're building in this game. Like all the patterns you can make and things you can do with building which is uh, obviously really important. I mean if you can shoot that's great. If you're good with loot and kind of like, you know, you're lucky with finding good loot and stuff, that's great too. But really the most important thing you can do in this game is to be able to build. If you're a fast, efficient builder, then you're going to be able to outplay like 90% of people. So I wanted to go through and kind of talk about all of the different building combinations and, and, and kind of things you can do here. So we are going to be going all the way to the very back of Moisty Meyer here. Hopefully we don't have anybody here to... Uh, to kind of interrupt this, I guess let's let's grab a chest or two, try to get a weapon just in case somebody does come along. Looks like we do have the the storm to favor us, which is kind of nice. But uh, we'll we'll see what we can do. We gotta get a bunch of wood if we want to do some editing, so this should be nice. 114 wood out of that tree, that's insane. All right, I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab some wood, kind of make our way back to the the back outside here. Grab this last chest, and uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and drop off the cliff a little bit here. Nothing too far. But that way, nobody's really going to be able to see us. Probably go a little bit farther than that. Alright, so uh, the first thing I want to do is let's say you're in a box here. One of the things that, I mean, this is kind of, we're going to start off with the super, super basics. One of the things that I really recommend doing, usually you won't have a roof in this situation, I guess. Let's say you're, you kind of, you built up in a one by one and you've got, uh, you've got some stairs here. One thing I suggest doing is editing and then unmarking these just to be able to peer out. I'm sure you guys have seen this a lot in my videos and like, you know, anybody else who's fairly good at the game will end up doing this too. But you guys can see, I mean, you could remove pretty much all of these if you wanted to. And now you have a clear wall you can see out of and look for enemies, but they can't see you. The only thing they're going to see is potentially see you through like the, the slits in the wood. But when you edit it like this they still see the full wall. You can see through it, but they still see the full wall. So that's, I mean, that's really, really important. That makes a big difference, especially when you're in end game. You can kind of like hunker down, look around, see what's going on and play your next attack, which is kind of nice. Now uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's come out here and we're gonna make a wall. All right, so talking about editing walls, let's start off with the simple things. We've got doors and windows. So doors are super easy. You just do two slots like this. You can do it there. You can do it in the middle or you can do it over on the other side. So that's obviously super easy, right? Well, if we go ahead and put this back to normal, let's talk about windows. You can actually do a window in the middle, which most people know of, it makes one big window, but did you know that if we reset this, you can actually do a tiny window on the side. You see how it's a little kind of like more vertical window? This is kind of nice. If you actually want to have a window and be shooting out at people, you can kind of like take a peek and then you have a ton of cover over here. So that's pretty good. You can do that on that side or you can do it over on this side. Now, did you also know you can do a window and a door? So this way, if you want to shoot out at somebody and then like open it up and rush out at them, you can do that. So that's kind of interesting as well. Now another weird one when it comes to doors is that this one right here, I don't really know when you would ever use this. I guess if you wanted to kind of like try to jump shot somebody and then open this up and get them. I don't know. This one's kind of a, a little bit more for if you're trying to design something funny, but uh, you can do that. Now, windows and doors are done. Those are super simple. I'm sure a lot of you guys pretty much knew all of those. Let's talk about kind of like manipulating the height of the wall. So obviously here we have a tall wall. You can't even really jump and see over it. So if you want to lower it just a little bit, you can go like this and then look, it's kind of like the one we just made with the door. You can now kind of see over it. Now, if you want to make it even lower, you can make it even lower. This is more of like a balcony. So if you're up on a, a tall base, you want to be able to shoot down at somebody. That's a good opportunity to be able to do that. Now you can also take away one of these, I believe and make more of like a, a little half wall type thing. I guess again for looking down that's not bad, but at this point I kind of feel a little bit out in the open. It doesn't really offer a whole lot of protection, so I don't know, I, I probably wouldn't ever really use that one. Now you can also edit them the other way, so I don't think, yeah you can't do this, but you can do this to make a column. I don't really know what this one would be used for either, kind of like the last one we did. It's interesting. I mean, you could definitely make some pretty builds with this if you wanted to make something with like skinny legs or something. But uh, this one, to be honest, probably isn't all that useful. 
Moving on, we're almost done. We've got our triangles, kind of like the half triangle, as well as some uh, some arches. So for the half triangles, it's just three on one side. So you guys can see that one didn't work because we didn't have another piece to hold it up against. I'll do this again. Didn't even really take that into consideration. We've got a half triangle here, which honestly, I like to use this a lot when I'm trying to escape a base, like when I'm boxed in like a, a giant build battle or something like that and I want to escape. This is a good opportunity to do that. You can do that. Or you can put it back and then we could do these three, which uh, this one's honestly not bad. This kind of offers you cover and allows you to peek out and shoot people, which is kind of cool. So that's kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and get rid of this again. I wish there was a way to quickly delete pieces. That'd be kind of cool. But uh, yeah, so you, you've got those kind of like split in half diagonally type things. And then finally, we've got arches. So this is kind of cool. It just looks good. Obviously, it's not all that useful. But if you want to make like a, a dance floor or something made out of a bunch of these arches, it's pretty awesome. Or you can make a larger arch by doing, uh, what is it? I think it's this. Yeah. So you'd have to put two of those together. Kind of like this. And that's kind of cool as well. So that's more of like decorative building. If you want to build something that looks cool, you can do that. But uh, there you have it. Those are, I believe, all the different combinations you can make with walls. I did not know there was a vending machine in this tree. That's kind of interesting. I like it. It's a, a hidden spot. I wouldn't expect that, to be honest. So I'm hoping we don't have a, uh, a lot of people that are coming up on us here. Let's talk about floors and the different edits you can make for them, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to place these on it so it for sure has support. So obviously the easiest floor thing is just simply doing this. It opens up a section of it. So let's say, again, you're trapped in a one by one or something. You want to get out. Just do one slot. It's going to open that part up. You can hop out. Pretty easy. Now you can also, if you want a little bit bigger of a space, you don't want people to be able to immediately know which side you're coming out of, you can do two. So this is like the half, so you can pop up on the left, pop up on the right, that works pretty good as well. Now there's another one that's kind of interesting, and it's this one right here. So basically, if we reset this, if you do one side on each, it makes like this weird walkway thing. And again, this isn't one that I think you could ever really use outright. But it's kind of cool. It's like if you want to make an awesome, you know, kind of like deck walkway balcony type thing, you can make this. And then finally, last but not least, reset this. If you want to, you can do three and do this. And you've got kind of like a little overlook thing. So when you see people building dance floors, it's when they do four of these. Or honestly, this is good for traps. So I'm sure you guys have seen those trap videos. Somebody will sit down here, they'll have like a, a spike trap here, and they'll make it so that all but this little piece is gonna kind of disappear. So when an enemy comes up over it, you can confirm it, they'll fall down, and the spike trap will get them. But uh, I don't know, this one, I just, I feel like it's kind of cool, because here, hold on, let me make it in the middle for you guys. If we do this, and this, and this, and this, we've got a cool little circular dance party type thing. <laughs> We're getting chased out by the storm. We honestly, I feel like we got pretty lucky with the storm here. I feel like uh, it kind of favored us most of the time. We might need to spawn back in and do this again for the stairs and the roof caps. They're quick ones. There's only a couple things you can do with each, but... Let's go ahead and play out the rest of this match. I can't believe there's a guy out here, dude. What is he doing? Looks like we actually had a pretty intense build battle out here as well. Is he going up in that? Got him! First kill of the day, boys! Let's go! We're top 10! <laughs> Just about. 11 right now, I guess. I, I feel really bad for that, dude. We'll take it. All right. Um... Does he have a med kit or anything over there? No. Okay, we're uh, we're looking, 
We're looking kind of okay here, guys. I cannot believe this is the new strat, right? Go off the edge of Moisty and just go off the map so nobody ever sees you. We don't really have a whole lot in terms of loot, but we're I'm gonna try playing this out, boys. We'll see what we can do. Get you guys some gameplay. I'm not promising anything. This is the first game of the day. I just I thought this would be kind of an interesting uh, an interesting video for you all. Got a guy up there for sure. I'm gonna try to get this guy's stuff. I can't believe I have no grenades, dude. I see him right there. I see him creeping. He's gonna have to push to us. I'm thinking about hopping down and getting into a shoddy fight. Oh, what the fudge? I'm done, so. Ripping the chat. Rip in the chat, boys. We are looking looking pretty rough, I'm not going to lie. I did not know that that guy... I mean, I knew he was behind us, but I didn't expect him to push like that. We'll see what we can do. We've got uh, 75 HP to dream as soon as we get done healing up here. We got it back though. Another 100 HP or so. I mean, I'm just gonna take little bits and pieces from everybody, I guess. This dude's building up. Does that guy keep pushing? Ah, oh, he's in the shed. He's gonna come around this way, isn't he? This is that looking thing I was telling you guys about. I thought we were gonna be able to kill him before he got the RPG off, dude. I feel like we kind of ripped into him with the scar a little bit. I can't believe he got us like that. All right, that's fine. We didn't really have materials or heals or anything like that. We're gonna go back in and I'm gonna show you guys the last edits you can do with floors and then also with stairs. I said floors, but I meant roof caps. So we're gonna take a look at stairs and roof caps this time, dude. Ah, I thought we were gonna have that one, honestly. I mean, it it was a pain not having any any backup shields or anything. And uh, I don't know, we, we probably could have built away from that rocket, but like I said, I, I thought we were gonna be able to get, you know, one or two more shots on him before we got that rocket off. I figured he was gonna rocket me, but uh, I thought we were gonna be able to, uh, to get it done. That's all right, though. Uh, let's see what we've got here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab I'll grab a weapon, just in case. Don't want to get caught empty-handed out here with our pants down. So we'll see what we get out of this. Hopefully it's something decent. That'll get the job done. All right. So we're going to grab some more wood. And we're going to get out. And we're going to go see what we could do for building stairs and roof caps. These are kind of interesting. I would say the stairs ones are some of my most used. Like, there are a few wall ones that I use a lot. But these stair ones are, uh, are, are super, super crucial. So... Just gonna get a little bit more wood in case somebody rushes us. Technically, we don't need much, but all right, we're gonna go ahead. Let's let's get over here, I guess, kind of down in case somebody else is out in the woods. They can't see us, and I'm gonna make us a little platform. We'll do a, a little four by four right here. All right, so four stairs. This is kind of interesting. Now, the first one I want to show you guys is actually really really useful. So 
Picture yourself pretty high up in a one by one and you've decided that it's looking the wrong way. You don't wanna look this way anymore, you wanna look behind you per se. What you can do is these little rectangles here. A lot of people don't know about these rectangles. You can use those to change the way your stairs are going. So if you drag here and drag this way, it's gonna change your stairs and point them this way. If you grab here and you drag it this way, it's gonna change them and point them that way. So when you're up in your one by one, you can change whatever direction you're facing at any time you want, just by clicking on and kind of dragging in that direction, which is kind of nice. Now, in terms of actually editing the stairs, this is where it gets a little bit weird. So you guys saw with the walls, whatever you select, that's the part that disappears, right? So like on a window, it disappears. If you go up and you reset and edit a door, the door side of the wall disappears to make a door. So whatever you select is what disappears. It's the opposite on stairs, which is kind of interesting. So let's say you're up here and you wanna open up half of your stairs. What you have to do is if you want your side to stay solid, you have to select that side. So you guys can see it opens up the half. Or let's say we'll build a little one by one here. Let's say you're up in a one by one and you wanna drop really quickly. What you wanna do is select the opposite side and that's gonna drop you down quickly. So just keep that in mind. It's kind of the opposite of, uh, of pretty much everything else we've done, which is, uh, I don't know, it's, it's weird. I don't know why they did it that way, but they did. Give them a little bit more wood here and I'll show you guys the other kind of like editing techniques for your stairs. So let's go ahead and uh, we've got something here. Now uh, for like changing the direction the stairs are going or, or kind of like, I don't even know what to call this. You can kind of make this, you can make like a, a little corner stair piece, which is kind of interesting. Or if we reset this, you can make a full U-shaped spiral staircase. And this is kind of useful if you want to, to really kind of like go upwards in a really uh, tight, compact area, you know what I mean? Like without, without covering too much ground, like if you're trying to make a sky base and you just want to go straight vertical, this is a good idea. But uh, overall, these two, I feel like they aren't really that useful. Really, I only used the first two tricks I showed you on the stairs. Next up, we've got our roof caps here. And I'm going to be honest, this is probably the least useful part of the video, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyway. So normally, it's just kind of like this roof cap, triangle, pyramid, whatever you want to call it. If you take one side off, it's going to turn it into this kind of like bigger piece. You could put four of those together to make a bigger triangle. I don't know why you would ever make this. If we reset this, you do opposite sides. That's how you make this thing, which again, I don't know why you would ever want to use this, but it's kind of interesting. If we go back to the, uh, the default, if you do the same side, this is how you make the stairs equivalent which we used to use this until we had Builder Pro. Builder Pro kind of made it a little bit better, but this is the best way to build on console until Builder Pro came along. And then finally, the fourth thing you can do, last but not least, is you can do three pieces and you can make, oh shoot, that broke. I gotta start running this way for the storm, but I'm just going to, uh, I'll, I'll pre-build it and show you guys what you can do. And I guess that's kind of like a secondary tip I have for you guys, is you can pre-build these things. So if we bring this up, the L1 up, we wanna get it to a spot where we can see it. We'll kind of like pre-make it here and confirm it. And this is what you're making here. So you guys can see, you could kind of like put this here, put this here, put this here, put this here. And you can make kind of like a little bowl type thing. I don't know, it's kind of interesting if you have a base up in the air with a lot of corners and you want to make something you can easily maneuver around. It's not bad, kind of like a, a port a port is in a sense. But uh, that's, I don't know, it's, it's not really all that useful. But yeah, that's actually a pretty good tip in itself is pre-building this stuff. So let's say you wanna build the spiral staircase over and over, you can kind of like pre-make it and then all you have to do is just kind of run with it, which is kind of interesting. And we got up in this tree, this was an unfortunate position to do this. But you guys get the idea, then you can just keep running with it and it kind of stays there. So if you have like a spiral staircase or you really like throwing arches around, like you could, you could make an arch here and then run around throwing up arches all over the place really quickly. I mean, it's not really gonna be all that useful in terms of, of strategy, but you can pre-build if you want to. But yeah, there you guys have it. I mean, there are a, a couple little tips in there. Some of it's a little bit more for like, building purposes for, for cosmetics and like if you wanna build something cool, but there were definitely a few things in here you can do to really kind of improve your game a bit and, uh, and build a little bit better. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. We find ourselves in the top 10 again. There's a shield over here I'm gonna come grab. This is uh, 
Not the position I want to be in with a gray AR, but I guess we'll see what we can do. Oh, a blue AR at the bottom of the crater. I was just getting ready to say I'm sure there's not going to be anything useful over here besides maybe some hop rocks. But we got an AR. We got a, a shoddy over here. All right. This wasn't really hit, dude. This is pretty crazy. This chest is like barely inside the safe zone. I'm coming to get you, buddy. I know you were forgotten up until this point, but we'll we'll take you all day. All right, I'm gonna take this. Looks good to me. Purple sub in there? Are you serious? Dude. This is looking okay. I know there's a guy in there. We saw him building up into... Ooh. He just got sniped. There's no way, dude. There's no way we're gonna get this fortunate. There's three people left. We don't have a single kill. Where do we think this dude got sniped from? There's one guy left. I'm gonna feel so bad if we win this game, dude. We did not, not deserve to get top two here. Not one bit. All right. This guy can obviously build. He's one shot. What? Dang it, dude! What the fudge? My, oh my god. It was like bringing out traps and stuff. I never even pressed square, bro. That's all right. He was back up to 50-50. Holy cow, he had some minis and stuff. Good game to him, that's fine. Like I said, we had like no heals. We couldn't do much there. But uh, we made two solid attempts. I guess if you go out in the middle of nowhere and practice building, you can get top three every time. It's kind of interesting. But yeah, the point of this video was not to try to get you guys great gameplay. It was just to show you guys these, you know, new building techniques, I guess. Hopefully this helped you out. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. We've got some more Fortnite on the way very, very soon. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.